And these two men are poised to make medical history. One posted a plea for help, the other, a stranger, answered. The pair will be involved in a kidney transplant. Now, the kidney will be the first ever to come from a stranger found through a commercial website. News Force Kathy Walsh joins us now with the story of how the Internet is making a potentially life-saving connection. It's really pretty amazing. The recipient of the healthy kidney is from Edwards, Colorado. The living donor is from Chattanooga, Tennessee. They are strangers meeting face-to-face -face this week for the very first time to make this very personal connection. That's great. Bob Hickey is used to having his blood tested. The 58-year-old retired psychologist is slowly dying from kidney disease. I have less energy every week. Um, you know, I uh, can't walk up a flight of stairs without resting now. A year ago, I could do that. Hickey is one of 50,000 people in the U.S. waiting for a kidney transplant. Nine months ago, he started to believe all hope was lost. Desperate, he turned to the Internet, a website called matchingdonors.com. And that's where he found Robert Smitty. I'm going to donate a kidney to someone who's in great need. He is giving me, giving me life back. Smitty is a 32-year-old truck driver from Tennessee, a husband and father, a stranger to Bob Hickey. You don't need to know someone to want to help someone. So Smitty is in a Denver hospital undergoing tests. On Monday, he will give one of his healthy kidneys to Bob Hickey. I want to help someone. I want to, I want to make a difference. This will be the first ever kidney transplant from a stranger found over a commercial website. To find somebody um, like Rob is, is a miracle. It cost Hickey $295 a month to be listed on the site. He weeded out 250 offers before narrowing his choice to Rob. Now, he's just four days away from transplant. I'm, I'm going to be walking around with part of, of this man inside of me and uh, part of his family. I'm sorry. So there, there really is no adequate way to, uh, to thank him. We're so cruel to each other sometimes. Maybe this will help. An amazing duo, really. The transplant will take place at Presbyterian St. Luke's Medical Center, where they've performed nearly 1,000 kidney transplants. Robert Smitty told me today he has no second thoughts. He says he's more worried about the plane flight home than the operation on Monday. Gosh. Kathy, $295 a month to be on the donor match website. That's a lot of money people can't afford. Yeah, it's something that not everybody can do. But I actually spoke today with the people running the website and they say they're not making money. They say they let half the people sign on for free and they're working to make the site a nonprofit. Wow. Greater it's a priceless love. gift, that's for mm -hmm. sure. All right. A Colorado man will get a kidney transplant thanks to a man he met online. It is making medical history, the first ever transplant from a stranger found through a commercial website. To, uh, to find somebody um, like Rob is, is a miracle. Bob Hickey is 58 years old. He's been slowly dying, his doctors say, from kidney disease. Desperate, he paid money to make his plea on a website called matchingdonors.com. He got hundreds of responses and found a match in a stranger from Tennessee, 32-year-old Robert Smitty. You don't need to know someone to want to help someone. The transplant is planned for Monday at Presbyterian St. Luke's Medical Center. Now these two men are poised to make medical history. One posted a plea for help. The other, a stranger, answered. The pair will be involved in a kidney transplant. The kidney will be the first ever to come from a stranger found through a commercial website. The recipient of the healthy kidney is from Edwards, Colorado. The living donor is from Chattanooga, Tennessee. They are strangers meeting this week face to face for the first time to make this very personal connection. That's great. Bob Hickey is used to having his blood tested. The 58-year-old retired psychologist is slowly dying from kidney disease. I have less energy every week. Um, you know, uh, can't walk up a flight of stairs without resting now. A year ago, I could do that. Hickey is one of 50,000 people in the U.S. waiting for a kidney transplant. 
Nine months ago, he started to believe all hope was lost. Desperate, he turned to the Internet, a website called matchingdonors.com. And that's where he found Robert Smitty. I'm going to donate a kidney to someone who's in great need. He is... Giving me, giving me a life back. Smitty is a 32-year-old truck driver from Tennessee, a husband and father, a stranger to Bob Hickey. You don't need to know someone to want to help someone. So Smitty is in a Denver hospital undergoing tests. On Monday, he will give one of his healthy kidneys to Bob Hickey. I want to help someone. I want to, I want to make a difference. This will be the first ever kidney transplant from a stranger found over a commercial website. To find somebody um, like Rob is, is a miracle. It cost Hickey $295 a month to be listed on the site. He weeded out 250 offers before narrowing his choice to Rob. Now, he's just four days away from transplant. I'm, I'm going to be walking around with part of, of this man inside of me. and. Uh, part of his family. I'm sorry. So there, there really is no adequate way to, uh, to thank him. We're so cruel to each other sometimes. Maybe this will help. That transplant is actually scheduled to take place at Presbyterian St. Luke's Medical Center on Monday, where they've performed nearly a thousand kidney transplants. Robert Smitty told me he has no second thoughts. He's more worried about the plane flight home than the operation. Well, this is just an incredible story. Two men will make medical history tomorrow. They met on the internet and agreed to a kidney transplant. A man from Edwards posted a plea for help on a website, and a donor from Chattanooga, Tennessee, answered. News Force Kathy Walsh was there when the strangers met last week for the first time. That's great. Bob Hickey is used to having his blood tested. The 58-year-old retired psychologist is slowly dying from kidney disease. I have less energy every week, um, you know. I uh, can't walk up a flight of stairs without resting now. A year ago, I could do that. Hickey is one of 50,000 people in the U.S. waiting for a kidney transplant. Nine months ago, he started to believe all hope was lost. Desperate, he turned to the Internet, a website called matchingdonors.com. And that's where he found Robert Smitty. I'm going to donate a kidney to someone who's in great need. He is... Giving me, giving me a life back. Smitty is a 32-year-old truck driver from Tennessee, a husband and father, a stranger to Bob Hickey. You don't need to know someone to want to help someone. So Smitty is in a Denver hospital undergoing tests. On Monday, he will give one of his healthy kidneys to Bob Hickey. I want to help someone. I want to, I want to make a difference. This will be the first ever kidney transplant from a stranger found over a commercial website. To find somebody um, like Rob is, is a miracle. It cost Hickey $295 a month to be listed on the site. He weeded out 250 offers before narrowing his choice to Rob. Now he's just four days away from transplant. I'm, I'm going to be walking around with part of, of this man inside of me. And... Uh, part of his family. I'm sorry. So there, there really is no adequate way to, uh, to thank him. We're so cruel to each other sometimes. Maybe this will help. Kathy Walsh, News 4. A uh, kidney transplant will take place tomorrow at Presbyterian St. Luke's Medical Center. Surgeons there have performed nearly 1,000 kidney transplants. Can you believe that, Sean? Amazing, amazing. Great story. Yeah.